Every Sunday we share the story of a hero in our community who's doing something great, something special here in Tampa Bay. And this, this week we have two heroes, Pete Sullivan from the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation, here with his lovely daughter Kathleen. Thank you guys so much for being here. First of all, tell us a little bit about uh, JDRF and what you guys do and why it's important for people to know about who you are. Well, I'm just a volunteer like the rest of our board members. Uh, we do have a small staff here in uh, the Tampa Bay area. And uh, our job really is to help raise money for diabetes research, but also to uh, encourage those who might have been touched by diabetes and to um, share what we've learned so that uh, to provide hope and encouragement. Certainly you have a very personal reason for that and that's your lovely daughter, Kathleen. Tell me a little bit about what it's like to live with type 1 diabetes and why people need to know about this. I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes when I was about 15 months old in July of 2001. Um, so diabetes has always been very present in my life. Um, it's definitely a daily struggle. Sometimes your numbers can be great and you're trying really hard and you have a great day and other times when the thing that worked yesterday, um, it just doesn't work the next day. Yeah. So what I would say to people is that um, it's a lot more serious than people can make it out to be, especially because like, I'll talk to my friends, like, oh, you have diabetes, like, that's super cool. Um, but some days it's just like, kind of hit a wall and you're just like, I just don't want to have this disease anymore. And I want to be able to eat food and not have to worry about it and not have yeah. to worry about, oh, I'm sitting in a parking lot and my blood sugar is low, so I'm going to be here for 30 minutes so I can't drive home. Yeah. Just that and how um, it really affects every part of your daily life. It's a lot tougher than people think it really is. Right. Now, you guys do some great work, and I know you had a fundraiser last night, an annual fundraiser. We have some video we can show of that. Uh, that took place last night where your organization raised, what, $117 million? Not last night alone, because that would have been amazing. <laughs> but $117 million overall, including a lot of money that goes to uh, US, USF for research. Tell me about the, the fundraiser here. Well, every year we have a gala event in the fall, and uh, this was our 10th annual gala, and uh, we were uh, blessed to have uh, Nicole Johnson, former Miss America, as our MC, and we also She's had awesome. <laughs> uh, Crystal Bowersox, who is a contestant, runner-up contestant on uh, American Idol, uh, was, was uh, one of the uh, entertainers. So it was great, and uh, we believe we raised almost $600,000 for diabetes research. That is fantastic. And all of that money goes to, again, research and advocacy, right? Yeah, so you think about it, it's for treatment, prevention, and a cure. And all three of those are important. Uh, we, we pray for a cure, but we know that there are things we can do today to help those who are living with diabetes. All right. Thank you guys so much for coming. Really appreciate you being here. You want to leave folks with one last thought about JDRF and if they can get involved, how they can do that? Uh, just go to the website, jdrf.com, and uh, you'll see the information here on the local chapter. But I'll leave it to Kathleen. What, what should we share with those here in Tampa? Just that the JDRF um, is a leading organization in giving people like me with type 1 diabetes um, a really hope for a cure. They're the only people, they're the main organization that's really giving people yeah. like me, like, a, hey, like diabetes probably could be cured in my lifetime. And the technology that they're coming out with is so cool. It is. And how, Some like, amazing things are happening, right? Right. And they're yeah. just getting one step closer to a cure, like, almost every day, which is really exciting for people with type 1. Thank you guys so much for being here. Appreciate you taking a few minutes out of your Sunday night to hang out with us at Channel 8. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> Appreciate Ross. it. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it.